Hey guys, it's me, iPinoy Phone. Today, I will unbox the Griffin Survivor case for the Apple iPad 2. This case retails for $79.99 at the Griffin website. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here is the case. The packaging was really simple. It's not that hard to open. Here is an instruction on how to install the case on the iPad 2, how to use the included stand, and how to manage the port covers. So yeah, that's nice that they included this. Let's take the plastic covering off first. So here is the survivor case for the iPad 2 from Griffin. I will now disassemble this and I will be right back. So the case comes in four pieces. First, we have the outer silicone cover for drop protection. Then we have the inner two-piece hard plastic shell and the stand. So just like any other silicone case, this one is also a lint magnet, but you can easily brush them off. As you can see, the silicone cover is heavily padded. This will definitely help protect the iPad from any damage. The silicone also features the port covers to protect the iPad's ports and controls. This small cutout is where the port covers anchors itself, so that it will leave the port open and accessible. The inside of the silicone is lined with this waffle-like design. These cutouts absorb shock in case you drop your iPad or hit it against a solid object. The silicone case is really thick and very strong. Next, we have the two-piece hard plastic shell that covers the front and the back of the iPad 2. The front piece has the cutouts for the home button as well as the FaceTime camera. It also has a built-in screen shield to protect the iPad's display. The back piece features some padding to protect the back of the iPad 2 while it's inside the case. It also has the cutouts for the speaker and the dock connector as well as the camera. So everything is still accessible. The last piece we have here is the stand which can be placed on either side of the case. Just pull this open. Then lock it by pulling this piece down. And there we go. You can now use this to watch movies on your iPad or type comfortably on the on-screen keyboard. Just fold it again when you're done using it. Now let's install the case on my iPad 2. Don't forget to clean your iPad's display first as well as the screen shield before using it. Otherwise, you will have to uninstall the case again in order to clean the display or the built-in screen. Simply put the iPad 2 on the back piece, then put the front piece on top of it. Then press on the sides until everything snaps into place. Next, let's insert the iPad 2 with the hard plastic shell on inside the silicone case. Let's do this bottom side first. Then just carefully wrap the silicone cover around the hard plastic shell. Next, massage the silicone so that the tabs located on the inside of the silicone cover locks into place. Next, let's install the stand on the case. Again, you can put this on either side of the case. I actually prefer this more than the stands on the Atterbox Defender case or on the CDO Active case because it is very minimalistic. You cannot even tell that it's a stand. Aside from the built-in screen shield, there is also a lay on the table design at the front to protect the iPad's display. As you can see, the case is really bulky and it also adds a little bit of weight. At the top, we have the cutout and the cover for the secondary mic. Here's the cutout and cover for the headset jack. And here's the power button which is covered but still responds very well when pressed. Here's the cutout for the FaceTime camera. At the side, the volume buttons are also covered. And here's the cutout and cover for the silent switch. The covered home button is also responsive as you can see. The same goes with the volume buttons. At the bottom, we have the cutout and the cover for the DAC connector, 
which is really hard to open if you have a short nail. Here is the cutout and cover for the speaker. If you don't lift it up, you can still hear the sound but it's not as loud. The extra padding on the sides also provides a better grip of the iPad too so you don't accidentally drop it. Inside the port cover, there's a tab. You insert this tab on the hole located near the cutout. Just like that, so that the cutout remains open. Simply release the tab and it will snap back into place. Now let's try out the stand. Pull this open. Then lock it into place. Okay. Now I can enjoy watching movies on my iPad too. Or do FaceTime with my friends. Flip it around and set it down like this. So you can type on the on-screen keyboard at a comfortable angle. After using it, just fold it back again. And there we go. So overall, I really like the Griffin Survivor case. This is now my go-to case if I need more protection on my iPad 2. I really find the stand very simple yet really effective. That's it for my review of the Griffin Survivor case for the iPad 2. Thanks for watching. Peace.